If you would like me to consult on Michael's case, I'd love to help. I'd love you to. I mean, you know, somebody who, like you who cares so much about Michael would be fantastic. Uh, if Patrick agrees, it would be, you know, a great team to have. I mean, I, you just had the baby. I don't want you I to did, do anything that you I did, but I'm going back to a full-time schedule. So just let me know what you need from me. Okay. Sonny, you wanted to see me? Yeah. Uh, Carly's doing this test for Michael, okay, to see if he's a viable candidate for some experimental treatment. I just wanted your opinion on it. Okay, well, have you consulted any other surgeons? No, you're it. And then you'll tell me if, if it has a chance of working. Yeah. Robin offered to help, but, you know, now she's back from maternity leave. Yeah, Robin's... I don't know how she's going to find the time. Why don't you let me decide how to allocate my time? I would love to consult on Michael's Since case. Since Robin has just come back to work, we haven't had time to set her schedule we yet. We have a time... I will work out my schedule. Okay. And I will figure out a time to help Michael. I just need information on the neurotransmitter <laughs> testing so I can make an educated decision. Of course you... I'll call the doctors of New York. Get the information, give you feedback as soon as possible. All right. Uh, thanks, both of you. I'm, I'm out of here. Thanks, Sonny. A meeting with lieutenants. Let them know that uh, you're stepping down yeah, and I'm taking over because otherwise... The meeting's going to have to wait. Spinelli's in a lot of trouble. I thought the trouble disappeared when you handed Anthony over to the feds. No, Rayner wants me to give you up. Forget Rayner. Uh, what are you going to do? Look, I decided to get Spinelli out of the country, set him up somewhere in hiding, and the kid took off and he beat me to it. Oh, well, problem solved. No, it's not solved, Sonny. He does not know how to survive on his own. If I if I don't find him, he's going to get into something he cannot get out of. Spinelli did not just put himself in danger. He has information that could destroy both of us. I trust him. Okay. Then maybe it's time you cut the kid loose. My fault, Spinelli's in trouble with the FBI. Okay, Jason, we both know I don't understand half of what Spinelli says. He's like an alien or something. I, look, I'm not going to judge him, but he gets on my nerves. And he, he does have IQ off the charts, so he knew exactly what he was yeah, doing. He thought he would make my life easier if he left. But if you took Spinelli out of the country, you would be an accessory to unlawful flight. The feds would bust you the minute you got back, and I'm not sure you can, you can get over that. I, I, I just don't want him out there alone. That's... Okay, we both... We, look, we, we know that you're sorry to see him go, and you have come to rely on him. But you gotta think of Spinelli. He's, he's getting out of the mob. <laughs> Is it that simple? You think, you think he'd go back to, to hacking? Huh? I agree. But listen, Spinelli is, is naive, but he's not a child and he's not innocent. And you always, you always said to me, you're the type of guy who lets people live their life, let them do what they want to do. If Spinelli wants to do this, you shouldn't try to stop him. Do you remember? I, I, I have my own reasons for wanting you to let Spinelli go. I can't have you distracted right now. You know, the, the, the organization's going through a transition, and it's important that you're around. No, I get it, but the men know what's expected of them. Well, yeah, but a united front from both of us as business partners, as friends, would be great for all. Look, you do what you're going to do. I'm, I'm not telling mean, you what to do. You know what? I got I to look for Spinelli because he's been nothing but loyal since he started working for me. Well, now you know what it's like. I mean, you were young once. Didn't really know how the world worked. You needed some place to go, some place where you felt you belonged, and you decided to work for me. I took you in. I told you many times to get the hell out, but you made your choice. And I got, you know, I, we developed a, a, a friendship, a business, you're like a great business partner. But the thing is, the burden of, of feeling responsible for you was very tough for me. For your well-being, for your safety, and that's the same thing you're going to have to go through with Spinelli. What should I do? Well, I can't, I can't answer that. You're gonna have to, you know, make the decision yourself. 
But I will say this, if you go after Spinelli, you may be saving him from a life he's not prepared for. But then again, you are tying him to the mob forever. You look like hell. Uh, well, thanks. You had a bad day, or...? No, it's, I just had a, a meeting with uh, Jason, brought up some... some history. Old news. Speaking of which, Carly wants to take Michael in to get some experimental treatment. <clears throat> really? Yep. What do you think about that? Well, I think Carly uh, has high hopes for whatever is going to get Michael to wake up. And I'm not going to fight her because she's going to do what she's going to do. But I, I'm, I, I'm, I keep wondering if there's a part of Michael who knows what's going on and it, it could disturb him a little bit. Michael's fine. Why would you say that? <laughs>